Okay. Okay, welcome to tonight's Getting Started Right call for October 29th. I'm Julie McCauley and Whitney Vasquez is joining me to get you guys started. It's exciting. I got my jammies on and I got my water. So I'm ready to go. All right, so this should be really straightforward. If anybody has any questions, please put them in the chat and we will answer them. And really, we're just kind of going through this and, you know, filling in our experiences as well as just getting you guys informed so that you know what to do and can really hit the ground running with this business. And you know what? It is not oh, it was supposed to be overwhelming. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you can always ask in our team page or your upline or, um, you know, just shout us out in the team page because, you know, we're always here to help. Okay. Okay, so first, oh, first things first, you have to work on you. You have to be the product of the product, okay? You have to be in your own challenge group, working on yourself, drinking your Shakeology or performance, doing a workout. And if you haven't done a workout, like start to finish, print out a calendar. We're gonna be doing that um, Sean T prep group soon print out that calendar and do it like start to finish even if it's only a 21 day thing like do the calendar follow it um, and get results so um and talk about it love on it like if you were using a new chapstick wouldn't you be t and you loved it wouldn't you be telling everybody about it yes so this is the same thing um and just talk about like how you know we, we always talk about like before Beachbody and after Beachbody. So talk about like the old Julie versus the new Julie kind of thing. And remember to be talking about like where you were versus where you are now. Um, and then help people change their lives and tell those that could, they can help other people as a coach and pay, with their, pay for their products. This is all our vital behaviors. Um, and it's just like I started as a challenger and I loved it and that's how I became a coach. All right, and just to add to that um, real quick, um, just like when you shared about the, the chapstick, you know, it's just like if we go to a, a new restaurant and we really love that new restaurant, like we're gonna tell everybody we know about it um, and it doesn't feel salesy, it doesn't feel icky when we're sharing about some place that we went or a new shirt, you know, that we love or, anything like we're always talking about other products or places and building uh you know like uh, different other brick and mortar buildings that we go to and we love it and it was a good experience right um that's the same exact thing that we can do with our own products that we're using if we love them why not talk about them why should it why should we be ashamed of loving something that is making us healthier and Helping, you know, like we're, we're gaining so much from it. We're blessed by these products. Why not share these with everybody else that we know? Um, exactly. I also noticed that a lot of the time, whenever you, I mean, from my own experience and from other coaches, it's like whenever you don't feel like posting or you don't feel like you have anything to post about um, that is inspiring. It's mostly because you're either not being consistent with the products or you haven't, you know, completed a program to its entirety or, you know, gotten the results that you want just yet. Um, so there just needs to be a, you know, tweaking the focus and, and really being a product of the product in that way with consistency. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And like, you can't, like, even if you just started, you can share, you know, your day one results. You can share your week one. You can share your week two week, you know, your one month. You don't have to have a huge 90-day transformation, you know? Mm -hmm. Or, and you know, like, you're just feeling better, that kind of thing. It can be non-scale. So, like I said before, you know, if you guys have any questions, there's the coach online. Sorry, I have to just Coach online office. We have our team page. You can always ask anything in there or there's a search function in the team page that you can type up. You know, say you have a customer that has fibromyalgia. Just type that up in the team page and I guarantee you that someone's already posted about it and you can find information that way. Um, there's the FAQ on Beachbody, Team Beachbody Coach. 
then there's always YouTube and Google. Like I'll even Google, you know, shake out vegan shake out vegan chocolate shakeology ingredients, and it'll pull it up right there. I don't even have to like do anything, you know. And then we always have our team calls and the national wake up call, which is every Monday. And I always listen to the recording on my podcast on my phone. That's usually up that afternoon. I love doing that too. And I love it that, I mean, I've been listening to them for several years now, but yeah. uh, I love it that you can uh, go back in the archives and you can listen to just years of, you know, these amazing coaches sharing their experience and sharing their tips and sharing their tools that they've used over time. Obviously some things are outdated because, you know, uh, social, social media, media. Is always changing. Um, so you want to stay updated in that, you know, notion, but, um, the art of inviting ha hasn't changed, you know, like it's still very easy it's still very simple to just share your journey. Um, and those coaches on those calls, they, they tell you everything that they've done to be successful. And then of course with the team calls, um, you know, staying plugged in is so crucial to keeping this, this passion and this fire, um, lit so that it doesn't extinguish. And when we try to go off and do it all on our own and, recreate the whole wheel and recreate, you know, this whole business, we're going to lose that. We're going to lose that flame. We're going to lose that, the motivation. Um, we're not going to be inspired as much. And it's just, it's one of those things, like it's one of those crucial elements that gets really easily lost. Um, but showing up on the, in the team page and the team calls, um, you're really going to find a source of energy. Right. And like, um, you don't have to be in the team page forever. Like sometimes I'll go in there and I'll just scroll it for like a couple minutes and answer a couple questions. Mm -hmm. And then like Whitney might go in and she'll scroll for a couple minutes and answer a couple questions. So you're always getting someone's different feedback, um, in the team page and on our team calls. It's, it's really good learning from, you don't have to change the wheel. We have all the tools, but just some people tweak it a little bit different, you know? Right. Absolutely. All right. Um, so like I said before, be a product of the product, you know, be doing your workouts and your shakes and your performance or the beach bars or whatever. Um, share, connect, invite. Be sharing your journey on social media. You know, Instagram storage is a huge thing. If you don't know what that is, we have a team call about it and a couple resources in the team page files that are really, really awesome to just kind of get your feet wet in there if you haven't used it before. But it's just a really fun way to be yourself and, you know, share what you've been doing. Um, connecting with new people, a great easy way to do connect and start a new conversation is on Facebook birthdays. Instead of just writing happy birthday on their wall, uh, send them a private message, send them a voice message, um, send them a video of you singing happy birthday um, on, in their message and just say like, hey, how you doing? You know, hope, happy, what'd you do to celebrate? Something like that, something easy and fun to just kind of go in there and um, say, hey, you know, um, doing your personal development. I mean, I feel like team calls and national wake up calls and all of that counts towards personal development. But even if I'm listening to any book on tape, um, is really, really good. And I listen to like morning motivations with the kids in the car, that kind of stuff. Um, just 10 minutes a day on your, in your car to drop off the kids. It's really, really easy or while you're getting ready or while you're in the shower. And then recognizing recognition. So that's celebrating success. So like I said, if you don't have a whole team, you can maybe shout out someone that's helped you. Or maybe you shout out a fellow challenger in your other group. Or maybe you um, shout out like, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for a week and I've lost a pound. You know, just recognizing something um, almost every day is a great way. Yeah, and um, just to add to that, I mean, when it comes to sharing online, when you do your personal development, you almost 
always immediately have some type of thought process or something that's like been enlightening to you and something of value that you can easily share on your page. That way you're basically putting on your, on your page, on your business front, something of value. And then if you consistently do that, people are going to tune in every single day. Like, what does she have to say today? What, what does Whitney have or, you know, whoever, who, what do they have to share? That's, you know, going to like inspire me a little bit. Like just, it doesn't even have to be long drawn out blog posts or anything like that. It can just be a few sentences of something that inspired you from your personal development. Um, so if you are ever struggling in any area of your life, I mean, it could be anything that you want to work on and you want to grow on. It could be your parenting. It could be, um, you know, uh, your marriage or your finances or, you know, building more confidence or building your faith. Like it can be anything. Personal development, obviously for a business aspect, you want to tune in <laughs> to some of those. Um, but building a business takes so much more than just, um, you know, business tactics. Like you're going to need leadership skills and you're going to need, um, to build your confidence. You're going to, you know, learn how to be bold and learn how to share your story and all of that. And you, and in that you get to share that online and people are drawn to that because you're teaching them something. Um, and you're sharing your, your, your enlightenment and your experiences and how it's touched you. Um, and then the other thing with recognition, I love that you brought up, like, you know, recognize your own things that's going on in your own life, recognize your own non-skill victories or that you made a paycheck and you were able to pay for your kids sports or whatever the case. Like if you don't have a team just yet, yeah, definitely recognize other things in your life that you're grateful for. Um, especially with this, um, with these products or the people in your life. Um, now that you have us as your teammates, you know, like, there's always something to be grateful for, always something to recognize. Um, and whenever we show up and we are being those influential, like encouraging go-getters, people see that too. And they see that and they're flocking to it because they're like, yeah, she's really positive and happy. And there's something, there's something unique about that. Like I want in on that. And um, anyway, I just wanted to. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah. I always say, um, be positive. Don't be a whiner or complainer. And if you went through a struggle, like share how you got through it on the other side. Oh, where's that? Okay. So your first goal as a coach is to help three people get started with a program and Shakeology, a challenge pack. Um, because this will help you get your Shakeology covered, paid for. And, or like we say, you like to get your Shakeology for free. Um, and this means you'll be hitting Success Club and probably you'll be hitting Emerald soon. Um, so hitting that Success Club the first three months gets you a free ticket to Summit. Awesome. Indianapolis was so much fun. Um, and then you're just sharing with your, you just start with your hot market, like your, your sister, your cousin, your friends and family. Like, hey, I'm doing this awesome health and fitness thing. You should definitely join me. We can get fit this last 60 days of the year. Um, and really just hitting those little goals along the way will really help um, grow your business and help you make a little bit more income. I know Christmas is coming up, so that will be really, really great. Um, and just, you know, getting those first three people started with the challenge back is really going to help you, you know, hit the ground running. Um, so ways to hit success club, you know, we've got the challenge pack, you know, success club, we have success club five or 10. Um, so a challenge pack is two points. Shakeology on home direct is two points. Daily sunshine home direct. Oh, that's not on there anymore, right? I don't think Daily Sunshine is a one anymore. Because they lowered the price. Yeah. Uh, performance Line HD, that's two points. Beach Bars, the three carton is two points. And what's this other one? Any combo of HD products that total 90 PV is one point. So that's really awesome. Those are just little things that will help you 
get your business started. And if you hit Success Club 5, you get customer leads and uh, your free summit ticket after three months um, and the Success Club prizes. And then if you hit Success Club 10, you get paid Shakeology leads, which is just a little bit more income you know, in your, in your paycheck, which is really, really good, especially with Christmas and all the holidays coming up. And that adds up fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, with the customer leads, I mean, it's just, uh, those are free leads from the company. That you didn't have to invite anybody, like they show up, they're strangers to you. However, you don't get the opportunity to reach out to them and build relationships with them. And over time, then they become paying leads if you're, if you're just starting out with the, the non-paying leads. Um, and I have several on, um, on my Facebook right now that have just become a part of my tribe over the last few years. Um, and they all came from those customer leads and I would have never met them or spent time with them or been able to help them um, if I didn't ever get those. And so Success Club is really such a unique, fabulous uh, business marker like to, to go after because you're, you're going to be building your business um, in ways that you just can't, you can't fathom just yet because you're, you're getting free leads from the company that are yeah, other companies have to like pay for leads, like pay mm -hmm. for a list of leads that they have to call. We get them in our inbox. Just for helping other people. <laughs> it's like at least at least like one or two a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. It's really awesome. Really great program. Um okay, so oh this thing wants to click a lot. Uh -huh. So we you know we have a team calendar, you know we have, you know, what's coming up. We have our team T20, you know, uh, team group coming up. We have, you know, Kristen's got a little black dress. I have a last 60 challenge. So it's whatever you're in. You do not have to do your own challenge groups. We have our team. We do this together. Um, that's the great thing about this. You can team up with another new coach if you want it. You, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could hit the ground running and run your own group, but you really do not have to do that. We have all the tools for you to do this. Right. You know? So, um, but sharing your story, um, putting it out there on social media, um, you know, sharing Transformation Tuesdays is just a great call to action and jabbing those little shares along the way. And then when you do that call to action, you know, drop a heart and I'll reach out. Um, that just kind of is a little bit of a, that's called a public invite, but you still need to do your personal invites along the way. Do you have anything to add to that? Yeah. Um, whenever we are posting the invites or call to actions on our pages, it can seem really scary and really frustrating if you're only getting like maybe three or four likes. Um, and most of those are other coaches supporting you. Um, but that does not mean that people are not seeing them. It simply means that the, the people on the other side of that post are not ready to commit just yet, or they're nervous to reach out to you about it. Um, maybe they are th assuming that it either costs a lot of money or they're just not mentally ready for it. Um, as far as like, they don't, they can't wrap their minds around 30 days of eating salads and working out and oh, it's really scary. Right. I mean, think back to when you were, um, on the other side of that, you know, invite post. Um, so yes, personal invitations in the inbox are, really crucial because these posts are basically just, they're kind of just like the marker, um, marketing, you know, it's like your storefront. Right. And so you have to reach out to them and build those relationships and they have to, they have to feel in their hearts that they can trust you. And then they will completely, most of them anyway, will show share all of their, um, fears and their goals and, and everything that they're struggling with, like they will let it out if you just take the time 
to send them a personal message and reach out to them. Yeah. But they are watching you all along the way. <laughs> yeah. There's some creepers and then, and then all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, I didn't even know you were watching me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like we were saying, you have to personally invite those people. You have to um, connect with a lot of people. Easy way to do that, like I said, is with the happy birthday message. I recently started um, in your phone, you can do the keyboard shortcuts. And so you can make, write a happy birthday message, you know, and then in the, and, and the shortcut could be like HBD. And then you type that and hit enter and it types up like, Hap, I always say happy, happy birthday. I hope it was fabulous. That's what I always say. And then my next message is, and then I say, oh, thanks, it was. I'll say, oh, did you do anything to celebrate? So that really kind of gets that conversation rolling. And, um, you know, you're treating, the, these people are your friends, you know? You don't want to just treat them like some Joe Schmo. It's a really um, great be brief after a long period of uh, not, like if you've gone a long time without talking mm -hmm. to somebody, that's a really great way to like segue. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and always adding new friends, you know, reaching out, uh, be excited. Um, when you're doing a conversation, always end with a question so that, you know, you're getting to know them and then maybe you can lead into an invite or um, that's just how you can fill their need. Oh, well, they're complaining about their job. You know, maybe this is a great way to segue to a coach invite. Um, but we have scripts, like I said, we have the tools, we have the scripts, and you just can like, tweak them on like how you would say them. You, like maybe you're not a person that likes to say, hey girl, you know, tweak it. Um, but these are what works and you just have to, you know, make it work for you. Um, and don't be afraid of the cost of what we have. If you break it down for people, like say it's just the, say the Beachbody Challenge Pack, the um, on demand is 99, Shakeology is 130, you know, the containers are 24, you know, all the shaker cup is like 10. So like all of that broken down is like, ew, but then you put it all together and when $60, you're like, oh, wow. Am I, I'm, so you're basically getting the containers for, this is what I say, I said, you're getting the containers for free and you're only getting, you're getting your Shakeology for only 60 bucks. Cause that breaks it. Cause 99 is for everybody. Beach body on demand is $99 for anyone, right? For me as a coach, for you as a coach, for a challenger, it's $99. Um, so making Shakeology cheaper, 60 bucks is really, Oh wow. That is a lot cheaper. I should definitely do the challenge pack or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, because it is such a great value. And then we know we believe these products that work. We know they work. We believe in them. We love them. And just don't send them the link right away. Get to know them. Fill up their needs. Um, <laughs> don't show up and throw up. Don't just be like, hey, thanks for liking my post. Uh, here's my link to sign up. No. Get to know them. Okay, and follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. Follow up is the key. Think how many times you were invited before you said yes. You know, yeah, you don't want to be that an annoying person, but honestly, it takes like seven times. Like, think how many times your kid asks for a cookie before you're like, fine, have the cookie. You know, <laughs> it's the same thing. You just have to be, you know, oh, I know we talked before about this and you couldn't come. I'm getting my next group together. Would love to have you. Super simple. Yeah, even the people that, I mean, you're going to get objections time after time after time after time, but they're, it's our job, it's our responsibility to overcome those objections and share with them a reasonable solution to their problem or to their struggle and overcome whatever they're struggling with and, and explain to them the value of what we have to offer. Um, and whenever you go to do those objections, like you can reach out to your coach and ask for help. Like, Hey, help me respond to this person. And that's what we're here for. You know, that's what the upline and your coach is here for to help you, um, become really comfortable with 
overcoming these the objections because they're going to come. It's like one out of ten people are are going to say yes, and so expect a lot of no's. But that doesn't mean no for forever. It just means they don't understand the value of it just yet. And so they're not ready to say yes. Yeah, it's not a no, it's a not right now. And another thing about messages is they, you don't have to answer people's messages right away. That message can wait till tomorrow or you don't have to know all the answers either. You don't have to get back to someone right away. Like uh, Whitney said, like if you need help, you know, you're not really sure about their question, you can even say, I'm not sure about that. Let me get back to you or just leave it unread and go ask in the team page and be like, help, I need help with this answer. You know, I'm really not sure what to recommend for this person who is in a wheelchair or whatever, you know, or is, like I said before, is Shakeology safe for fibromyalgia? You know, that's something to look into, you know, and that you can get back to that question tomorrow. You know, I always, another thing about messaging is, all in doesn't mean all day. Um, set your hours, set your intentions, do your work, and then get out and enjoy your family because you don't want to sacrifice your why for your why, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so our next thing. One more thing on that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, money objections is going to be like one of the number one objections that you get. Um, and I know for me, um, especially because I'm a pearl, I, I had a really hard time asking anybody to spend money in the beginning. Um, and it was something that I had to get over. I had to realize people are spending money regardless if I'm asking them to spend it on their health. So you have to come to grips with that and think about it. Like, Right now, it's right. It's about to be Halloween. Think about the hundreds of dollars people are spending on candy, on Halloween costumes, on Halloween decorations, on just ridiculous stuff that is not a necessity at all, right? So if you think about it in that aspect and you, you know, just kind of get over that fear of asking them to spend money on something that's going to benefit them and bless their health and longevity and bless their family and get them healthy and help them fight diseases and help them to lose weight and feel confident and feel amazing in their own bodies and, you know, break free from bad habits and help them to, you know, stop spending money on Coke or cigarettes or whatever the case, you know, like there's, there's people spending money on things. We just have to share the value of what we are offering that can bless their, their lives. And then they see the value and they're like, you know what? $160. I don't even care. Like sign me up right now. And that is just, as you go along, as you get comfortable with, with sharing and inviting and overcoming those objections, they will start to see that in your, in your, the way, or hear it in your voice or the way that you present it. So exactly. trust me, it can be scary in the beginning, but the more you do it, the way more, way more comfortable you get. Yes. Um, okay. So next step after all that is getting your first three people is get your second goal is getting um, em to Emerald and that's adding two coaches to your team. So you can achieve Emerald in 24 hours. You know, I signed up my husband and my friend signed up with me and I was Emerald. Like the first week I decided to actually coach because I was in it for the discount at first. Um, so I signed up my husband right away so that he's at the top of my business organization. <laughs> um, so he's benefiting from volume as well. Um, and we won't go all into volume, but we have awesome other calls about it and other resources about it. But basically, Emerald is two coaches under you that, um, that are getting Shakeology or whatever every month. Ruby is you have four coaches and two of them are Emerald. And a Diamond Coach is eight coaches and two of them are Emerald. So it's really, really cool how um, how it works with cycling and earning that cycle bonus. I mean, 
Emerald coach earns 14 bucks a cycle. That's 100 versus um, 100 to 200 on each side. So 100 cycle to 200 cycle. Does that make sense? Volume. Um, so that's one cycle is 14 bucks. You know, if you do that four times a month, that's like almost an extra 50 bucks. That's a uh, some going to get a pedicure that's um, helping towards the bills. That's maybe getting a babysitter for a date night. You know, those little things add up. It's really, really awesome. And that's not selling a challenge back, you know? So your first goal should be hitting the sex club and getting to Emerald, which is super easy to do. You can totally do it. And try to do it in the first three months so you can earn that ticket to summit. Yes. <laughs> Cause that's a hundred and what seventy five dollars normally. Um, yeah, yeah. And new coaches can also earn money towards Summit, which is kind of right. crazy too. Um. So yeah, like I said, it's you plus two. You have you know maybe your spouse and a friend, or your mom and your sister, or your spouse and your mom. I mean, I signed up. My husband, my friend signed up. Then my mom and my sister signed up. So like. You can do it, no problem. Um, okay, so here's some initial, you know, like I said before, we have invite scripts to, to help you with this. It's in our um, Thinkific training, you know, it's in that first 30, you know, that Thinkific training, which is like your new coach training. We have this stuff in there, which is really, writing down your warm market like your friends your close friends your family those people and letting them know like hey i'm doing this thing um i really think you can be a game chamber ugh, game changer i would love for you to join me and let's get fit for the holidays i know i don't want to go to thanksgiving dinner and all of us be like man my pants don't fit from last year you know and like we have all these invites and you need you can just tweak them to your needs. Um, and then we wait for them to, for the, their response and, you know, ask them questions. You know, what have you tried in the past? What kind of exercise do you like? Where do you really struggle? Do you do not like to meal plan or you snack too much or not drink enough water? That kind of stuff. A lot of people struggle with having time to even make dinner you know so that's a lot of times like oh i have a cock pot meal plan i can give you when you sign up or whatever you know um all those little things like in reminding them that we have a 30-day money back guarantee they can we can help them get their money back in 30 days if they want yeah i um i just wanted to share an example of what not to do <laughs> um yeah go for yeah. it Yesterday, um, I actually did receive an invite to a cell um, from somebody else um, that was for like skincare products. And she just messaged me out of the blue. We haven't talked in almost a year. And it was one of those things where it was as if she was assuming that I was even looking for, for face care products. Um, and I wasn't. Um, but it was the way that she messaged me it, it and as a coach, I know this, you know, because I do it on a daily basis. She didn't get to know me. She didn't, you know, treat me like uh, a person, like a friend. She treated me like, um, I know you have money, come buy something from me. And that is, I mean, I'm, I'm easygoing, so it didn't offend me, <laughs> but, um, I just, I thought about like, man, I wish I could coach her to invite other people better, <laughs> but she's not, you know, she's not one of our teammates. She's not in this business. Um, but anyway, I was like, I just turned it around. I was like, no, but I do have a challenge group coming up. Do you want to join me? <laughs> oh, but it was just one of those things where I remember back whenever I first started, you know, inviting people and, and to cold invite somebody who you haven't really established any type of foundation with it's just it's just a no-brainer like just don't do that um you know get to know them get to um know what they're struggling with and offer free value to them all the time like maybe it's suggesting a specific book that has helped you because 
guys, we're supposed to be reading personal development, right? So we should know off the top of our head, like, oh, that good, you know, that book might be good for you. You might like this. Um, or sending them a link to a recipe or sending them a meal plan, like the busy person meal plan guide for them to have like five days of easy recipes. And then they will build that, that, that faith in you and you will help establish that trust that you are a person they can go to whenever, like maybe it'll take them a couple weeks or a few months, but they will eventually come back to you because they know you're a person that is going to stick around for one, like you're, you're in this for the long haul. If you keep on showing up consistently and then they'll know like, Oh yeah. So-and-so she loves to work out. She's been getting fit at home. She likes to cook really healthy. So I'm going to go talk to her. I'm going to ask for her advice. Um, so it does come around full circle. You're basically planting the seeds and, and then nourishing the sprouts that come up. And I know you guys have probably heard that analogy quite a bit in <laughs> Team Dream Big. Um, so definitely, definitely make sure that you talk to them like a human, like a friend, first and foremost. Yeah, just like we're, Whitney and I are talking on this call, like, hey girl, what's up, you know? Um, and then as you share your journey, you want to be colorful. You don't want to be... You do not want to say beach body or shakeology or 21 day fix or lift four or 2B mindset in your posts. You don't want to be barfing beach body. You, anyone can buy it. Okay. Anybody can go on Amazon or eBay and buy it, right? What you are selling is yourself. They are getting you for their challenge group. They're getting you as a coach to help them with their journey. That's what you're selling. So be colorful, share the different parts of your life, share, you know, your, how you get around the busy schedule with your kids. If you like um, sewing, share about sewing. If you like doing yard work, talk about that. If you like crafts, talk about that. Talk about all these different colors of the rainbow in your life and, you know, date nights with your husband. Um, Maybe how you got to afford a date night because you had an extra paycheck. Um, stuff like that. All those different things is sharing those little colors of the rainbow that what that makes you you and, and not Julie and not Whitney, you know? So sharing all those different colors of everything. If you have if you like tea, because I know Tanya's on here, she loves her tea. Um, sharing all those things. Um, about your journey um, that makes you you and that's what they are wanting to trust you to sign up with you and your group um, so yes personalize it make it eye-catching you know sharing your journey be here in a year don't just be like okay this isn't working after two months did you really give it your all did you really invite? Did you really post your journey? Did you really share a value? Or did you post like, sweat a selfie? Is that adding value? No. Just share how you feel after that workout. Why did you sweat? What made you push play? That kind of thing. Um, don't post links. Um, no, no story, I don't know what that means. Don't screen sales or stock photos. Don't just post like, um, you know, a transform 20 screenshot, you know, because we are gearing up for that, our next group, you know, just keep it you, it keep personalized. It personalized, you know, maybe try, if you want to, you know, we're doing our Shanti group, you know, start with that, start with just, you know, doing your own journey and being like, wow, this guy Shanti really kicked my butt or something like that, you know, some, but add value and add a why to it or a feeling because that's how people will trust you and know that, Hey, I felt that way too. I felt like crap today, but wow, you worked out. Now you feel better. I still have a headache, you know, stuff like that. Or like why Mondays don't suck, you know, cause everybody's like, Oh, Mondays suck. I think I go to work. You know, ho hum of Facebook. It's so annoying. Whereas you can just be that light to people um, and be here in a year make that commitment to yourself that you're going to make this work. Yeah. And the, you know, the, the story part of it, um, 
facts tell, but stories sell. So you need to share what it is that's going on in your life um, that is, you know, a, related to and can translate to whatever you're wanting to promote or share. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, people are, people need to know why you're doing it and what is the outcome and what you're experiencing. And, uh, can you go back real quick? The last one down there, not personalized. So, and I just wanted to share on that one. If you are going to share something that like motivates you or an inspirational quote or something like that, that is like a, a different picture, um, or just a quote, a words or whatever. Um, it's not a personal picture of you. Like make sure that you share what it means to you and your take on it because otherwise it's just kind of like busy, yeah. busy clutter. Another thing, you don't want your page to be like all sharing. Like maybe you're following some sort of inspirational Facebook page and you've, you've done a lot of sharing of their things. Well, why don't you just save that picture? Like Whitney said, save that picture um, and post it as on your thing, not sharing it, and then spin your take on it. Or maybe take a picture of you and put that quote on the picture. You right. know, there's a lot of photo apps out there. Um, Photofy and WordSwag are great ones for, mm -hmm. for that. Just putting like, you know, a, your picture with some words on it. So making it personalized. Um, and fitness and business journey, they're so much the same. They don't have to ha happen overnight. You have to track to see results. Um, you have to know who you're inviting. You have to know what you're eating, you know? Uh, you have to have fitness and nutrition in your fitness. And on your business, you have to have public and private invites. Um, as soon as you stop, the results stop. You can't just take a break and come back you know, then you have to restart over. Just do those little things every day that at least you're not going backwards, you know? Um, and just don't compare your day one to someone's day 60 or year one or year 30. You know, we've been in this business longer than you have. You can't compare yourselves to us. You can't compare your fitness to like Kristen. You're just a different person, you know? Um, and don't overcomplicate it. It's a very, very simple business. It's very, very simple, you know, programs we have. You just have to do the work and follow it and do it. You just have to do it every day. Um, and so this is really easy. How do, you, how do you make an extra hundred bucks? What would you do with an extra hundred bucks? So your first month, you have, you know, three new customers, that commission, is 150 bucks. Month two, you've got new customers, three new customers, and those old, those last three customers from last month just got Shakeology again. That's $246. Month three, same thing. You've got three new customers, then you have six people with their Shakeology from the last two months. That's $396 months, dollars. That's $792 of three months. I mean, so, in this scenario, you're making, you know, 246 by Christmas if you're doing this starting right now. Or if you hit Success Club in October, that's your month one. So month one, if you just signed up, can be either October or if you signed up in October, your month one can be October or November. And that goes towards your Success Club for your summit ticket as well. So the best way, the best value we have is the challenge pack whether that's a 2B mindset, whether it's lift four, whether it's just a regular beach body on demand, that is our best value. You're getting all the tools you need to get started. And I even tell people like, you don't even have to do the, you know, say they're doing 21 day fix. I even tell them like, just start by doing it three times a week and drinking your Shakeology every day. That's gonna make the difference, making that tweak. You don't, like, you don't have to go balls to the wall. You don't have to drop dead, stop drinking Coke. Maybe if you had five Cokes a day, drink one Coke a day. You know, but this is the best value in adding in that nutrition and just getting them moving and feeling better and maybe fitting into their genes better. That is really going to what's going to keep them on Shakeology the next couple months. And plugging them into... Yes, the, the groups, of course. 
that's, I mean, that's the whole reason I've, I just love the groups. Yeah. Um, okay. So what now? Go through our training. I mentioned it before. We have Thinkific training. It's self-paced. I think it's like seven or eight days of self-paced training. You know, commit, like I said, commit to a program, commit to that program. Even if you only print the first month off, I like to just print it off so I can X out the days. Um, commit to it. Um, drink your shake. Do your um, PD. Um, start sharing that journey and invite people. Don't get overwhelmed. Take one step at a time, one conversation at a time, one goal at a time. In 21 Day Fix, she says, we're taking it one pound at a time, one step at a time, one day at a time. And that's exactly what coaching is. You're just taking it one step at a time. Do not get overwhelmed. Do those little things every day and you will be moving your for business forward. Stop getting, to, stop getting ready to get ready and do it. Yeah. Whitney, do you have anything to add? If you do get overwhelmed, remember that it's completely normal. <laughs> Every coach does this in their business. They are on a roller coaster of emotions. All you need to do before you make any major decisions, like I'm just done, I'm done, I can't take this, it's so overwhelming. Like just chat with your coach and let her know what's going on. Like. I'm, I'm dealing with this or I'm fearful of this or whatever. And we can help, you know, reverse engineer, like take a step back, maybe tweak a few things and just really help you to get going and balance it out and, um, and just get more experience because, um, you're going to hear a lot. Like it, we're all just failing forward <laughs> and sometimes failure, um, you know, if you're not used to, you know, having that, those kinds of experiences, um, you're going to, it's going to hurt a little at first and you are maybe going to feel more overwhelmed. And so just know that you have a support system. You have a team that is going to wrap their arms around you and really help you dig into this. You don't have to do this on your own. I mean, you will feel overwhelmed time to time. That is normal. Or some days you might feel like, God, I just got like 20 no's. I just, ah. Uh. Sometimes you'll just get frustrated and you just have to be frustrated in that moment. Walk away. Like I get like this sometimes. You just get, oh, so frustrated. Just walk away, you know, come back to it later. Right. Or go work out and come back to it. Um, because, you know, you're going to get, those no's, but it's not a no, it's not right now. Another thing I wanted to mention before we end the call is that um, we were talking about hitting Emerald and hitting Success Club. You want to, to get paid in November, to get paid leads in December, to get those um, free leads like we were talking about. In December, you have to lock down Emerald and Success Club. You have to lock down Emerald by Wednesday, November 21st, and Success Club by the end of the month. So you want to add those two coaches by November 21st and wake up that Thursday on Thanksgiving. You want to wake up Emerald. And how, how fun of a celebration will that be on Thanksgiving? Okay. And I saw um, a question in the yeah, chat go ahead. from Rebecca. Do people need to buy a challenge pack to join into a challenge group? And so the, the answer is, you know, it's kind of up to you. Um, if you want to be a stickler, um, and really hold your challengers, um, you know, to the, to the commitment of having a challenge pack and having, you know, their, either their psychology or the beach body on demand or, um, to be mindset or whatever the case, um, depending on what your challenge is as well. You know, some people, some of us coaches are just doing like specific types of challenges like we're doing a 2B mindset challenge or we'll do a lift four challenge or a 21 day fix challenge like it really just kind of depends on what what the challenge is but overall like this is your business and you can run it um however you want so if you know the person and you know that they can only afford to get beach body on demand with three month subscription they can't afford anything else right now like yeah, plug them in, like help them to get that, that support. If they, if that, if you feel it, like that is what they need from you right now. Um, 
I don't know, J Julia, if you want to. I do require Shakeology for my, uh, because I know that will get them results. I know it's going to at least help their health, you know? Um, so I do require that for my regular challenges. You can always plug them into a free seven day challenge or send them the busy person meal plan if they're really just not ready for that commitment. Um, but you know, we always have the money day, the 30 day money back guarantee. So it's really up to you. Yeah. Like people have a gluten like celiacs and they just cannot tolerate sugar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a special thing. And every once in a while, because I know someone like really is broke or whatever, I will say, I will do this for one time only, you know, and I'll, I'll let them in the group, but I rarely, rarely do that. Um, Morgan said, why start your spouse with starting them? What needs to be done? So why do you start your spouse? Because they want to be, you want them at the top of your organization. You can also run orders through them that will help you cycle more and make more money. And they'll be getting the mission, you'll be getting the cycling bonus. Um, and you will need to talk to your coat, your upline about where to put them is the best place for you because it just depends on where you are in the organization, whether you have a team leg or a, your inside leg, you know, just talk to your coach um, about where to place them. But it's really just getting them to the top of your organization. And you can order like, you can order Energize through them or you can order the beach bars or something like that through them to keep them active or you can just put them there as a placeholder pay the 40 bucks and just have them there until you're really till you have another coach and then um then you'll start cycling then you can start plugging more into your husband or your spouse um to get you cycling and we have a whole different call about emerald and cycling um also another idea is to order a box of shakeology packets and that way, when you do the free challenges, you can resell those packets, um, and that will cover the cost of the Shakeology for one. Um, for two, it will help your challengers who are not ready to commit to the whole entire month's worth of Shakeology. Um, it will help them to try it out, try out different flavors, and they can you know, establish that trust as well and sample it. Um, However, don't do what I did and just give it away for free because people do not value it nearly as much when you just, here, have it for free when it costed you $5 per packet. Um, they are not going to um, really, really take to it if they don't give you some type of, uh, put in some type of like monetary value attached to it, you know? Um, what is that? Put some, uh, anyway. in, put some skin in the game. Put some skin, yes, exactly. Um, so anyway, so whenever the first, I mean, the first couple of years, I, I have kept my husband's uh, account active just by doing that, just ordering Shakeology packets through his, through his account. And it really lit the fire for me to like move that product really fast, you know, because I didn't want it sitting around. I wanted people to experience it. I wanted people to get their hands on it and, and fall in love with it just like I did. Yeah, it's really great to have them. And, you know, now Ian doesn't do anything and I order packets or whatever through him. Actually, my whole family drinks it, so I order a second bag through him. But um, they, he cycles and makes, you know, like 60 to 100 bucks a month just from cycling. I'm not even running orders through him. Yeah, and then you're, and then when you have them under you, your account also gets volume from that yeah. as well. And so yeah, that's why, I, that's why I said to um, ask your upline, because it really depends on where you are in the organization, on which leg you should put them on. And you have like three days, 72 business hours to, if you put it, if you signed them up and you put them on the wrong leg or something like that, or your coach is like, oh no, put them on the other leg you can change them that way. So don't sweat it. Ask your coach. It's really easy. All right, you guys. I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you guys for joining us and we will see you um, in the team page. Thanks. Bye. Whitney. Guys. Bye. I'm going to take a picture. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Thanks guys. Bye Julie. Bye. Bye. I can find the end call button. Why is this being so weird?
It's like not showing me the toolbar. Um, 